Hello guys, welcome back to the second part of our tutorial of Julia. Today we will talk about math operations and math operations are really important because the PC works with numbers and we have to calculate them. Today we will discuss addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponentiation, modulo and how we can connect all these operations. Okay, let's start with addition. If we want to make the sum of two numbers, we can just write 2 plus 3. And if we run now the program by typing in the terminal julia math operations.jl, seems like nothing is happening, but actually the computer does already the calculation, it just doesn't show us the result because we didn't teach the computer or tell to the computer that he should show. So we need here the function print line. And then we say it should show us this result of the calculation. And now we can also see the five here in our terminal. Then let's put a hashtag in front. That means we make it to a comment. So this means the computer ignores it completely. It's just as note for you. And we do it here just for removing it from our program. Then subtraction, again, print line. We do our subtraction, just put a minus sign in and let the program run. And here we see the one. And as you can see, there's not a difference between white space or no white space. It's recommended to do the white space for a better readability, but you definitely don't have to do it. So now the other way around, we make our print line and make a lower number, two minus three. And let's see if it also works. And we can see we also get negative numbers as output. So also this is not a problem. Now let's try to multiply two numbers. For this we need the star or asterisk to multiply two numbers. Here we take two times three, we run it and get our result of six. Then let's divide two. Again we use our print line function Then we make here our number. For dividing, we use the slash sign and we divide in this example 4 by 2. So the, uh, the result is 2. And as you can here see, we get not only 2, we get 2.0. And that is specific. In our next chapter, we will handle the data types because this is a different data type than the data types before. And this, for now, just that you have seen it but we will discuss in the next chapter more in detail. Then let's do an exponentiation. For this we do here a print line, then the exponentiation we do with this rooftop sign. We take here two of the power of two and run it and get here for okay maybe it was a bit bad example because two times two is also two so we make here two times two of the power of three and we get eight here because it's exponentiation then we come to the modulo the modulo is a special sign in programming and what it does it divides one number by the other but doesn't show us the division result. It gives us what is over of the whole number, what is left over. So we divide three modulo two. So it means the two fits once in three and the leftover is one. And exactly this will us show the computer by doing this operation. So if we run it now, you can see here the one in the terminal.
last but not least, of course, we can also connect all these operations. Here we make an example by starting with uh, addition like 2 plus 4. Then we make minus 3. And we multiply the 3 by 2. So we have 3 multiplied 2 is 6. 4 is minus t and 2 plus 2 should be 0. And exactly this is what the computer shows to us. Okay, so far this were all the basic operations with numbers we can do in Julia. And these are really the basics of programming. So keep this in mind, but it's really easy to understand. You can mostly write everything like you would also write in pa on paper in math. And in the next video, we will discuss the different data types in Julia. And don't forget to subscribe my channel so you don't miss the next video and can follow me with my tutorial. And until then, see you guys.